From Scotty Scheffler winning six tournaments in 10 starts to Xander Schaufele getting the major championship monkey off his back, there have been some brilliant performances on the PGA Tour in 2024, but we've also seen our fair share of disappointments. Today, we take a look at five golfers having the most disappointing seasons on the PGA Tour. Starting with Max Homa. Homa has eight top 25 finishes in 16 starts and notched a third place finish at the Masters for his best ever major finish. But his 2024 campaign hasn't been good enough for his lofty standards. He has recorded only three top 10 finishes this season, and the closest he's been to the winner has been five shots. Before we move to the other golfers, subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to stay updated about everything golf. Next up is Will Zalatoris. Zalatoris missed most of last season after undergoing back surgery, and it's been a struggle for him to find his old form. The rising star found a groove with three top 10 finishes in the span of five starts early in the season, but he's only gone downhill since then. Over his last eight starts, Zalatoris has two missed cuts and hasn't finished better than 41st. We now move to Victor Hovland. Hovland didn't finish better than 19th in his first six starts of the season, and he reverted back to one of the worst chippers on the PGA Tour. He showed some signs of life at the PGA Championship with a solo third, but he then missed the cut at the US Open due to a poor short game week. Next is Jordan Spieth. Spieth has five missed cuts and recorded only one top 25 finish in his last 15 starts. Despite having a strong season with the driver, Spieth has been wildly inconsistent with his iron play and short game. Spieth hasn't won on tour since April 2022, and he's not going to end that streak anytime soon the way he's playing. The final golfer on our list is Ricky Fowler. Fowler has more missed cuts, five, than top 30 finishes, three, this year. He ranks 155th out of 175 qualified players in total strokes gained, and he is currently 94th in the FedEx Cup standings. This could very well mark the beginning of the end for the 35-year-old.